Hi pals, my name is Mal, or you can call me Milk, and welcome back to my channel. So, if you are watching this the day that it was uploaded, that means that it is Christmas, so Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, and I hope you guys are opening presents, spending time with family, or just enjoying your time off, and let's go ahead and get right into the tour. Starting off next to my house, I have this cute little woodsy, wintry path and I decided to lead it to this little transportation center. I wasn't 100% sure what to put here, but I think this actually turns out really cute. It doesn't really make much sense, but I think it still looks adorable. As for the front of my house, I just added some frozen furniture just to give it a more Christmassy vibe. And you will see that there's a couple areas in this um, tour that I didn't really do much to, the museum and little spaces, especially the beach, I didn't do much to. So moving forward to the entrance, I added the little light up illuminated reindeer at the little end of the entrance. I think it looks so cute, especially from this viewpoint. And then that leads us over to the left side of the airport, which is just a little photo center. So you can come and take some pictures with a cute little Christmassy scenery. And again, this area here did not do much to at all, except for add a couple little custom designs, which I did put down in the description. And I added this little frozen statue that I put a tiny little snowflake on, because <laughs> I thought it looked cute. But this moves us over on to the little sledding hill in the neighborhood. So here's that little cute idea. Again, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I do show some of the speed builds for making some of the parts of this island. If you wanted to check those out, you can look at my channel. And again, I put the dream address in the description. So if you want to see that and follow along, you can do that as well. Again, next to the houses, I didn't do too much. So I'm going to move on up to our next little build, which you guys have not seen in any of my other videos. But we have this little ticket area here to pick up your ticket or grab a coffee before we move on to the ski lift. Now, I definitely wanted to make the seats the bus transit seats. However, I didn't have those. I couldn't get them in time. So the diner seats are what we, it's what we're left with, okay? It still gives the, it gives the effect, okay? We understand that it's a ski lift, hopefully. I then move over to this little area, which I didn't change much of either, except for adding that tree there in the center. But that's where after you get off the ski lift, you can warm up here by the fire. And then we move straight on down to, which I have determined my favorite build of them all, the ice skating rink. I added this cute little sign, the little illuminated snowflakes, and I just think it is so cute. I love it. I want to visit it in real life. It's my favorite build I have, I have determined. We have the cozy little hot cocoa stand here, and I did just want to show that the little campsite area I didn't change anything to, but I just wanted to include it so you could see it in the snow. And that leads us on up to the little farm that we did in the last series for the Halloween Island. Again, didn't change too much, added some Christmassy items, and I did make the horse that was in the stable into a little reindeer, um, Rudolph specifically. So that leads us right on down to the build from my last video, which was Santa's little photo center, get a photo with Santa area. That's that this area here. As you can see, I added a little pile of gifts there and I'm waiting in line, but it looks like Santa might be on break. So I also added these little I forget what they're called, but I'm pretending that they're cookies for Santa. <laughs> and then we move to the tree farm, which I finally stunted the trees. I chopped a little tree down so you can see the little trunk there, like someone just took a Christmas tree on out. And I think it turned out so cute. And I finally added the frozen little tree there in the background as well. So I think this area also turned out super cute. So far, do you think you like the Halloween Island better that I did or the Christmas Island? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious. 
I had a shorter amount of time to do this one, so keep in mind. <laughs> This tour is already coming close to a close. We're gonna look at this last little area here where all I did was add those little holiday candles. And then I changed up this little custom design to look a little more Christmassy. And that is actually gonna do it for today's video. We had just a cute little, quick little tour. I hope you guys enjoyed how this island turned out. If you did, give it a like or subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video, bye.